Mode set. Executing. What's up gamers, it's your boy CDROM 1019 Welcome, welcome one and all to Escape from Monkey Island. Oh, I'm excited about this, guys. This is, um... This game came out in the year 2000. It was the first game... It was the first Monkey Island game that made... That marked, uh... Uh... A switch to a full 3D engine. It's very pretty. It's very well written. It's very funny. And I can't wait to play it for you guys. A couple of, uh... A couple of quick things. Once again, do not attempt to adjust your, uh... YouTube screen. Um... I had to make a couple of decisions when, when getting ready to record this game. Um, fans have kept this game alive through the use of updated launchers so that this can be played on Windows 7 and Windows 8 and Windows 10, and I'm playing on Windows 10. I'm very thankful to the group of fans that have kept this alive, so thank you to them. Um, the launcher that they made is a custom launcher that also included the ability to change the resolution of the game. If left to default, it plays in a stretched 640x480 resolution. Uh, which would mean that I could play the game in widescreen. Not bad, but it leaves a little to be desired because the picture is, uh, you know, grainy. It's, it's, well, not grainy, but it's, it's jagged. It's not very smooth. Uh, so I tried playing around the les resolutions. I tried jacking it up to uh, HD widescreen, but that causes a couple issues with the launcher. Specifically, um, that would cause a couple of visual tears in, in, uh, in the game, which are very noticeable, and would also cause some very, very noticeable issues with uh, Guybrush and his placement on the map. Um, and I don't want to have to deal with that. It's going to throw off the game, and if it looks weird for me, it'll definitely look weird for you. So I have decided to buff up the resolution to about 1280 by 960, which is a 4x3 resolution, but even though it's in 4x3 resolution, it also makes the game a lot sharper. So I think I worked a good compromise. So this is being recorded and uploaded to YouTube in a 4x3 aspect ratio. Do not attempt to adjust. This is the way I meant to record it uh, to give you the best viewing experience. Now that that's out of the way, are you ready? Let's once again experience the tales of Guybrush Threepwood. The change in resolution also causes a few a few problems with the with the transitions. Oh, the music. I never get tired of it, man. So if you don't remember, when we last left Guybrush, he was off, uh, he had just gotten married to Elaine Marley, the governor of the Tri-Island area, and they were uh, leaving for their honeymoon. And we buried LeChuck in a wall of ice in his own Carnival of the Damned. Somewhere off the coast of Melee Island. From the personal log of Guybrush Threepwood. Sometimes when it's quiet, I can still hear the monkeys. It's hard to believe that it's only been a few years since I first washed up on the beaches of Melee Island, armed with nothing more than a goofy name and an overpowering urge to become a swashbuckling pirate. I want to be a pirate. Who could have suspected that such a humble pursuit would lead me to cross swords with the evil ghost pirate LeChuck, the slimiest slug ever to plunder the Seven Seas? <laughs> And who could have guessed that my battles with LeChuck would introduce me to the love of my life, Melee Island's Governor Elaine Marley.
or that my efforts to win Elaine's hand would repeatedly drag me to the mystery-drenched shores of Monkey Island. That's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. Or that I would finally end the scourge of LeChuck, burying him beneath a mountain of ice. <laughs> Not me, that's for sure. Back then, the only thing duller than my sword was my wit. Now look at me. I'm married to the most beautiful governmental official in the Caribbean. The entire Tri-Island area shudders at the sound of my name. And now my plunder bunny and I are returning to Melee Island after the most incredible honeymoon in the history of... Die, Brush! Uh, yes, dear. Useful. Um, Elaine, sweetheart, dearest, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm kind of tied to the support beam. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Guybrush and Elaine are returning from their incredible three-month honeymoon, but, uh, there seems to be a bit of a hitch here, as they appear to be under attack on the ship that's bringing them back to Melee Island. So, uh, Guybrush is in a bit of a pickle here because he's strapped to this support beam, but we'll see if we can give him a hand. Uh, one of the first things you're probably going to notice is that this game also marks a departure from the point-and-click style. This entire game is now um, in 3D with movement keys, and the whole uh, interaction system's been overworked. So. Uh, let's take a look around. It's full of hot coals. Uh-huh. There's an enemy pirate fighting over there. Okay. It's the grated door to the ship's cargo hold. Okay, I don't think the cargo hold's gonna do us anything, but let's see if we can use this... this brazier here. So we were able to knock that over. We'll probably pick up some of these hot coals. Here's an enemy pirate over here. Let's check this out. Ah! Better not try that again. Okay, well that didn't do anything. <laughs> Alright, let's pick up another hot coal. And... Hmm, seems to be a loaded cannon over here. Let's throw it at that. Nice. Um, hey, Elaine, could you untie me? All right, and so it begins. Act one, things to do on Melee Island when you're dead. Oh, I just realized I didn't turn on the subtitles for you guys, did I? No, oh, I'll turn those on in a second. The way I pushed that smelly pirate right over the rail. Now that's the stuff of pirates. Mm. I hope the loyal citizens of Melee don't hurt themselves. I mean, you know, all the pushing and shoving on the dock to see my, uh, well, our return. It'd be dangerous. Make sure this one stays on top. Then there was the swab who came at me with the rusty fid. I sure taught him a thing or two about the proper use of deck chairs. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I got it. Okay. The burden of being the governor of such an adoring yet unsophisticated public can be so draining. I'll be lucky if I can get a second to myself for months. You know, we make a great team. The way we communicate, the way we work together, and the way we anticipate each other's every move. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Hmm. Oh well, here it goes. Might as well get all the hullabaloo over with. What? Wh where is everyone? Maybe everyone went to bed early? Where's the welcoming committee? The banners? The crushing throng of well-wishers? Oh dear, do you know what this means? We can spend another three months honeymooning. <laughs> That'd be nice, Guybrush. If only. Alright, let me turn those subtitles on. 
Belching! Oops. Oh, Turn the music down a little bit. Booty! Naming that meat! Okay. Voice and text. Turn. No, you adorable numbskull. Something has gone horribly wrong while I've been away. N nothing else can explain. What's that? Hey, it's Timmy the monkey. How are you, boy? <laughs> Either the litter box is full or he's trying to tell us something. What is it, boy? Timmy? Is something wrong? Free grog at the scum bar? There's been an outbreak of scurvy? <laughs> he won 74 bucks playing bingo, but lost it all playing banana futures. There's, There's trouble at the governor's, governor's mansion. mansion. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Let's try. 49, 7.9, minus 6. Fire! Ah! What do you think you're doing? What does he look like I'm doing, fancy pants? I'm knocking down the governor's mansion. You can't knock down the governor's mansion without approval from the governor. Yeah. The governor's dead, ma'am. Dead? Was the marriage that killed her, they say. <laughs> but I am the governor. Do I look dead to you? Uh... No, ma'am. Then cease and desist your boulder flinging immediately. Yeah. Sorry, Governor. I'm on the contract. I'm legally obligated to destroy your mansion with this here catapult. Something's rotten on Melee Island. I know. But the stench usually drifts away with high tide. I've got a plan. Although it sometimes lingers during an eclipse. Uh, guy brush. Uh, yes, dear? I'm going down to City Hall to see about getting declared undead. Won't that make you a flesh-eating zombie? Yeah. In the meantime, I need you to do two things for me. More back rubs and foot massages? <laughs> uh, maybe later. First, <laughs> I want you to put a stop to this insane boulder flinging. Stop the insanity. Check. Second, I want you to go to Lucre Island. Talk to my grandpa's lawyers. They might know how to help us fight City Hall. Oh, but I hate talking to lawyers. Not as much as they'll hate talking to you, dear. Okay. Well... I've got a resurrection to perform. Be good, dear. I love how she stopped to think about it. And don't forget, stop the catapult, go to Luker Island. Sounds like the honeymoon Jova. She was a lot nicer before she died. All right, so if you're just joining us, Elaine has been declared dead, and the governor's mansion is being knocked down or attempted. Uh, we need to see if we can put a stop to that. So let's see hey, if we can... Hey, get away from there before I pop you one on the head, capiche? Good. Now stay over there, pencil neck. Well, I can't get too close to the catapult, but I just want to talk to him. Um, excuse me. What? Uh, please stop. Please stop firing boulders at my house. It's very unnerving. Sorry about that, kid, but I'm under contract. What would it take? What would it take to get you to stop flinging rocks at my house? Permanently? Yeah, some kind of restraining order, I guess. You'd need some fancy lawyers for that. Okay, how about temporarily? Well, the union gives us liberal snack breaks during the day, but I don't have any snacks. Hmm. All right, so he needs a restraining order to stop permanently. Otherwise, we can get him to stop just by, for a little bit, just by giving him some food. Um... What are those numbers you're muttering? You know? I don't rightly know. They're supposed to be targeting numbers or something, but I'll be danged if I can figure them out. All I know is how to hit that cactus. I'm trying to extrapolate from there. So this guy isn't particularly good at his job. He says he knows how to hit this cactus, but can't hit the... but can't seem to, to configure the catapult to hit the mansion that's literally just a few yards away from it. But he can hit the cactus, so that's good to know. Could you show me how to hit the cactus? Nah, I only do that when I think the catapult's out of alignment. I wouldn't want to waste one of these boulders. They're expensive. Okay, well, so much for that. You seem like a busy man. I'll let you return to your evil deeds. Thanks. Okay, so that's some handy information. We can't go into the into the mansion while he's firing at it. Uh, now, I can walk off the map, or I can use the overworld map in this game, like that. Okay, so... Let's go looking around the island. If I go to the town... Hey, look, it's our 
It's the scum bar. Remember the scum bar? Let's go inside. A lot less people in here. Hmm. Let's go looking around. These guys look like they're busy. Hmm, jerky pretzels, huh? Mmm, kudu jerky pretzels. Oh, is it this guy's birthday? Let's see if I can talk to the sailor. Hi there, fellow swashbuckler. Bozak! <laughs> okay. What's the word on the street? Uh-huh. Got any more juicy nuggets of info? Okay. How would you like to join my crew on a dangerous piratey mission? Okay. Um... We'll be heading to Lucre Island to meet with my wife's lawyers. You're right. That does sound sort of silly when I say it out loud. Okay. okay. What's that you're drinking? <laughs> no street Thomas. No street Thomas. Say, mind if I have some of your pretzels? Okay, this dude's way too inebriated. You look like a busy man. I'll let you get back to your self-destructive binge drinking. Bozak! Can I pick up these? Hi! I guess he doesn't want anyone taking his birthday pretzels. Okay, well. It says, happy birthday. No, it's probably the only thing this poor guy has to his name. Interesting. Well... It's the only food I've seen since I've gotten here. Uh, let's go down here. Ahoy, mateys! Buzz up, buzzard breath. Yeah, can't you see we're busy here? You're busy? You're in a bar playing darts. You're in a bar. You're playing darts. This is busy? Listen, we're playing for the title of Grand Master Dart Champion of Melee Island. Yeah, unless you're good enough to compete. Which you aren't. We'd advise that you take a long walk off a short pier. Really? If you're so great, then why are there so many holes? Why are there so many holes in the wall around the dartboard? Those are uh, from other players. Yeah, we never miss a shot. Get out of here. No, really. Pick your number. You hit it. Really? Okay, hit a bullseye. I bet you can't hit a bullseye. Ha! That's easy. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay. I bet you can't hit another one on the first shot. Name it and all it. How about... The eye of the skull? Land one right in the eye of that skull over the door. Oh, trying to be tricky, huh? Hey, you're pretty good. So this guy's apparently really good with darts. I bet you can't hit another one on the first shot. Name it and all it. What if... Uh... I bet you can't hit that balloon over there. Here goes nothing. Ah! <laughs> Oops. Well, he looks like gold. Impressive. I bet you can't hit another one on the first shot. Just Name it and all in. Just because I'm curious. I bet you can't hit that guy over there. No problem. Wait, what? <laughs> wow, that's pretty good. Uh, I bet you can't hit another one on the first shot. Name it and all in. How about the post? Can you hit the big stuffed fish? There's no way you'll be able to hit the center of that light preserver on the kitchen door. What's the master at work? Wow. Nice shot. All right, I think I've messed with this guy enough. Well, I guess I'll be shoving off now. Are you still here? Hmm. This guy looks knocked out. Let's see if we can just take his food here. I guess he won't be needing these anymore. Interesting. Okay. Put those away. Let's back up for a second, actually. Hello, sir. Hi there, scruffy-looking pirate person. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. What's your name? Cheese. Ignatius Cheese. 
Ignatius Cheese, okay. How would you like to join my crew of mighty pirates, Mr. Cheese? And what, pray tell, might I be finding myself doing if I joined this crew of mighty pirates? Uh, well, you'd be traveling with me. You'd be traveling to Lucar Island with a crew of Cretanous Buccaneers to meet with my wife's lawyers. Now that sounds like a worthy mission for a mighty pirate navigator like myself. Really? I. The seas around Lucar Island are very treacherous and can only be navigated by a skilled sailor. I'd love to face that challenge, but... But what? I can't. Hmm. Well, you seem so interested. Why not? Why not? Because if I leave my bar for too long, it'll be stolen out from under me. You're the owner of the scum bar? I, the one and only. What? How are you the owner of the bar? Well, okay. That's funny. I always thought the scum bar was owned by a guy named Ron. I he was the original owner. I won the bar from him in an epic 12-hour-long game of Insult Go Fish. That sounds like a humongous bid. Believe what you like. In any event, I've been fighting off a hostile takeover bid from an Australian land developer. Come again? You heard me. A greedy Australian is making a grab for my bar. With guns and swords and cannons? Worse, with insults, jibes and mockeries. It's taken all of my insult arm wrestling skill to keep him at bay. Gosh, if it weren't for the whole wife being declared dead thing, I'd say that was the strangest thing I'd heard all week. That is pretty strange. Insult arm wrestling, you say? Insult arm wrestling? I. while you were away, the insult sword fighting paradigm became attached to a host of other pirate pastimes. Paradigm? Well, nowadays you can't throw a dart or, or play a game of checkers without being expected to toss in a withering bon mot. I think I tossed a bon mot in a food fight once. My particular speciality is insult arm wrestling, which I use to defend my bar from hostile takeovers. So, apparently in the three months we've been away at sea, uh, insults have attached its, its way to every uh, form of competition in the Tri-Island area. Um, okay, let's see. Wait a minute, your name is I-Cheese? I? Cheese? I? <laughs> okay. Uh, good joke. Uh, is there something I could do to convince you to navigate my ship to Lucar Island? I'm open to persuasion. What do you have in mind? What if I beat you in insult arm wrestling? If I beat you at insult arm wrestling, will you be my navigator? Hmm, that's an interesting proposition, Threepwood. It is? I mean, of course it is. How about this? If you beat me, I'll be your navigator. Great. But only if you teach me some new insults. Agreed. Well then, let's see what you've got. Okay, so we're gonna have at, uh, have a little match with him here. Uh, so I've got a few insults to my name. Well, I got a bunch of them, actually. But I've got to get the retorts, and I think I can only get that by by insult arm wrestling with Mr. Cheese here. So, um... Uh, today, by myself, 12 people I've beaten. From the size of your gut, I guess they were eaten. Hey, okay. look over there. Hey, look over there. Uh... No, that's... Let's see, over the counter to... Well, no problem. Then you can count, sadly, or brush it. Um... Yeah, yeah, I know, it's a three-headed monkey. Yeah, 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 I know, it's a three-headed monkey. Okay, um... Uh, your knuckles all grind into a splintery paste! I am rubber. You are glue. Oh, okay, so we didn't know that one. How about... Uh, people consider my fists lethal weapons. Sadly, your breath should be equally reckoned. Your knuckles all grind to a splintery paste. I know that one, that's, uh... That's... I thought the bean dip had strange taste. Uh, I thought that the bean dip had a strange taste. Um... Okay. Uh, I've got muscles in places you've never even heard of. Oh, it's too bad none of them are in your arms. <laughs> I've out-wrestled octopuses with these arms. Okay, um... No... No... Uh, yes. I'm sure that spineless creatures everywhere are humbled by your might. Okay. Uh, give up now or I'll crush you like a grape. I am rubber. You are glue. Okay, he doesn't know that one either. How about... 
My 98-year-old grandmother has bigger arms than you. Yeah, but we both got better bladder control than you do. People consider my fists lethal weapons. Okay. Uh, people consider my fist lethal weapons. Um, no. Over-the-counter defoliant can help with that problem? No, sadly your... Oh, uh, sadly your breath. Sadly, your breath should be equally reckoned. There we go. Uh... Gonna put your arm in a sling. I'm gonna put your arm in a sling. Why? Are you studying to be a nurse? Okay. Today, by myself, 12 people I've beaten. From the size of your gut, I'd say they were eaten. Uh, from the size of your gut, I guess they were eaten. Okay. Uh, my stupefying strength will shatter your own into a million pieces. I'm surprised you could count that high. Only once have I met such a coward. Uh, only once have I met such a coward. No. Surprise. No. He must have taught you everything you know. He must have taught you everything you know. Okay. You're the ugliest creature I've ever seen in my life. I'm shaking. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh, hang on. Lost my sound. Okay. Uh, my forearms have been mistaken for tree trunks. My forearms have been mistaken for tree trunks. I'm shaking. Oh, I'm shaking. Got him. I won. You did. Fair and square. Congratulations. You got yourself a navigator. Cool. We have a navigator for when we need to leave the island. Uh, that's one third of a crew right there. Let's <laughs> Break is still there. Let's head out. Okay, so we got some pretzels. I'm gonna need some more stuff though. Let's head over to the docks here. Ooh, popped inner tube. That might come in handy. Okay, let's go back and see if we can stop this guy from, uh, Bring it, trying to bring our house down. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Hmm. Let's okay. try. Let's bring out these pretzels. Fifteen, three point seven, minus twenty-seven. Hey there. Oh, Here, I'm doing this I brought out of you some order. kudu jerky pretzels. Oh well. Really? Thanks. I really appreciate this. You're welcome. You know, you could thank me by not chucking big old boulders at my house. I could, but I won't. Now leave me alone for a minute while I eat these. Oh, ungrateful. All right, that's going to buy us a little bit of time. Let's take out this inner tube and go over to this uh, two-prong cactus that looks a lot like a little... Uh, Slingshot. Mm, that was mm. good. Not a bad piece of modern art, if I do say so myself. Okay. See, I, I definitely did this out of order. He's already going back to the cannon. So I'm going to bring these out again. Good thing I've got several. Hey, get Oops. away from there before I pop you one in the head. Capiche? Good. Now stay over there, pencil neck. Hey there. Want some more kudu jerky pretzels? Sure. Wow, remind me to thank you later. Well, you could save time and thank me now by not knocking down my house with your massive balls of rock. Sorry, kid. No can do. Now let me eat this in peace. <laughs> oh, ungrateful. Okay, let's put this away. Look, we can go tinker with the catapult controls. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. You totally messed up my catapult. What you trying to do to me? You're killing me over here. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to start over at my calibration cactus over there. Get out of my way. I hope this works. There. It's recalibrated to the cactus. Let's try it. What 
the <laughs> yeah! Direct hit. Kinda. Ha! <laughs> there it goes. I can't believe you did that. Do you have any idea what those things cost? They don't grow on trees, you know. <laughs> Not my concern. Guess what? I'm still dead. But don't worry. I'll love you even after rigor mortis sets in. <laughs> We've been gone so long, they didn't think I was coming back. So those numbskulls at City Hall declared me dead at sea. What about me? Did they say anything about me? No. Then they decided to sell all my belongings and destroy the mansion. That's terrible. Did they sell any of my stuff? A and the worst part is, they've ordered a new election for the office of governor. Hmm, maybe I should run. So far, there's only one candidate. And, you know, the old slogan, when there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Who are you? The name, Mr. Threepwood, is Charles L. Charles. But you can call me the next governor of Melee Island. You can't be the governor. I'm the governor. And it's a lifetime term. Well, that's the rub, isn't it? You've been declared dead. So I've heard. How did that happen? Who can say? Uh, perhaps if you'd spent a little more time governing and less time gallivanting all over the Tri-Island area with your pet monkey, the good citizens of Melee wouldn't have come to the mistaken conclusion that you were pushing up the petunias. Wait a second. Was I the pet monkey in that last sentence? Okay, we get it. You're running for governor. But why destroy my mansion? Oh, that. When you died, the mansion became the property of the state. As a favor to me, the future governor of Melee Island, the town elders contracted a demolition firm. That's me. To destroy this outdated bourgeois symbol of the elitist piratocracy. But why? Because the days of pirate princesses ruling from secluded mansions are over, my friend. They are? Indeed they are, lad. If the Melee Island of tomorrow is to prosper, it must be governed by a man of the people. A man unafraid to mingle with the common folk. A man who won't hide in a mansion guarded by vicious piranha poodles. A man like you? Precisely. He makes a lot of sense, Elaine. He never did like those poodles. Uh, guy brush! Well, I've got hands to kiss and babies to shake. Ta! <laughs> hands to kiss and babies to shake. What's she about that guy? Really? I thought he smelled more like a rotting corpse. I've got another plan. With maybe a hint of oregano. Uh, guy brush! Uh, yes, dear? I'm going back to City Hall to run against Charles. Woohoo! How can I help? Go to Lucre Island to talk to the family lawyers. But why? I destroyed the catapult. Yes, dearest, I know. But with that demolition order hanging over the mansion, another catapult could come at any moment. We need the kind of restraining order that only my family lawyers can provide. But I want to come up with clever campaign slogans and do ops research. Guybrush, love of my life, I'm a politician. Let me do what I do best. I'll let you do what you do best. What's that? Sailing around the Tri-Island area on seemingly pointless errands. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? Oh, yes, What dear. I meant to say was, Venturing into troubled waters on dangerous quests. Well, okay then. That's more like it. Okay. I'm off to start my campaign. Don't spend too much time on Lucre Island, dearest. Hmm. Interesting. Charles L. Charles, a new, uh, a new, uh, politician running for the office of governor, um, claims to be a man of the people, unlike a pirate princess who s rules from a secluded mansion. Um... Apparently smells like a rotting corpse. That's foreboding. Either way, let's head inside the governor's mansion, take a quick look around. I think I need to go over here. Ah. So, let's see. Find China. It's a government paper of some sort. Ooh. Can we pick that up? The header says, Melee Government Employment Contract. Cushy edition. Hmm. That sounds helpful. But it is blank and not signed. Let's give this to Elaine. What's this for? I'm not sure. I just have a hunch that a signed government contract might be useful. All right, let me sign it. Hmm, that was surprisingly easy to do. Thanks, dearest. Okay, let's leave. 
And we're going to need to acquire a ship to go to Luger. Let's talk to the ship lady here. Hello, ma'am. I'm Guybrush Mar... Threepwood. <laughs> and I need a ship. How nice for you. And just what do you want me to do about it? Well, I mean, aren't you the harbor master? Are you the harbor master? No, I am the harbor mistress. Oh, pardon me. My full me. title is Chief Assistant Shipyard Regulator, Harbor Operations, Melee Island, a division of Inter-Island Transportation Services. Which means? Which means I'm in charge of ship allocations on Melee Island. Okay. Um, well, I'm coming. No, not commandeering. Um... Well, yeah, okay, I'm commandeering. I'm commandeering a vessel. Not so fast, mister. No boat leaves this harbor without my permission. And I see no reason to give you permission to take one of my boats. Um, but Stan said I could. I'm married to the governor. I'm married to the governor. I heard she was dead. Well, she does have her quiet moments, but she's alive and back on melee and ready to govern. Oh, so she's just been on vacation all this time, huh? That's nice. She won't be governor for long. I'm voting for Mr. Charles. He promised me a promotion. You're not helping. You're not helping. Helping is not part of my job description. No, you don't do a very good job, do you? Um, hmm. All this red tape is giving me a headache. Don't say I didn't give you anything. Okay, well. I wonder if I could have some grog. It's empty. Yeah, change your certain slots empty. All right, well, whatever. Don't have any cash on me. Hmm. Elaine will hear about this. Let's run all the way back to our house. this? Can I go up here? Look at door. It's the door to our bedroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is no time to sleep. Ah, eh, whatever. All right. Um, the header says, Melee Government Employment Contract. Interesting. Can I pick that up? I didn't know about that one there. Can I give this to her? Let me guess. Another government bribe? I prefer the term state-sponsored incentive. When you get back from Lucre Island, we're going to have a long talk about civic ethics. All right, let me sign it. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's talk to Elaine. Ahoy there, matey. What are you doing here, Guybrush? Um... I'm having trouble getting a ship. I'm having a little trouble getting a ship. What kind of trouble? I don't have the authority to, to uh, request one. I don't have the authority to requisition one. Can you believe that? Me. There must be a bunch of new people around here since we left. Here, take this. It should give you an air of authority. What's this doohickey? It's the official gubernatorial symbol of Melee Island. It conveys the authority of the Office of Governor. It also gets the holder into some pretty great parties. <laughs> <clears throat> a true pirate doesn't need some gubernatorial symbol to prove he commands respect. Yes, well, all the same, I, I think you'd better take it. Oh, Ouch. Right. Oh, does this mean I get to run the island now? I've got some revolutionary ideas about subsidized childcare. Just give it back the minute you return from Lucre Island. Okay, well, thank you, dear. I'll let you concentrate on your campaign. Thanks. Okay, time to go. All right. Uh, let's actually take a stop and into town. Turn around. Oop, going the wrong way there, guy rush. Turn around. Hey, familiar looking pirates. Hello there. Ahoy there, fellow seafaring wastrels. Yes! <laughs> Oh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, you, uh, startled us. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I startled. <laughs> you two look very familiar. You two look awfully familiar. Oh, we have very common-looking faces. Isn't that right? Oh, definitely. 
can't swing a dead Chinook around here without hitting someone who look like us. Uh, well, um... Didn't we share a cruise to Monkey Island once? Didn't we share a cruise to Monkey Island once? I don't think so. Carla, make the bad man stop! He's come to take us back to Monkey Island! Carla? Uh, who? You can't fool me. You're Carla, the Swordmaster of Melee Island. And you're Otis! I don't know what you're talking about. Let it go, Otis. The half-witch recognized us. I knew you guys looked familiar. You were two-thirds of my original Monkey Island crew. The crew you abandoned on Monkey Island, you mean? Do you have any idea how difficult it is to escape from Monkey Island? No. How difficult is it to? Escape from Monkey Island. <laughs> um, well... It's really difficult. Yeah. The whole experience was very traumatizing. Scared us for life. Gee, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry doesn't feed the narwhals, Buster. What are you guys talking about? You sailed with me back to the melee. You found me in the in the volcano, and we all sailed back to melee together. Ugh, that's weird. Too bad. I wanted to say something. I wanted to invite in my crew first, and he'd be like, "Holy jumping mother of God, no." <laughs> Um, won't you join my crew for old time's sake? Guybrush, take a good look at Otis. Monkeys! Monkeys is full of the monkeys! That's what happened to him the last time we agreed to be part of your crew. Now, what in the name of Blackbeard's dandruff could possibly convince us to join you in another idiotic adventure? Well, how about... Hmm, how about... A brand new car! What? Sorry, I kind of got caught up in the moment. Well, how about... Uh, treasure. Treasure. Boatloads of treasure. We're still waiting for the treasure you promised us the last time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, how about... Uh, okay. Some lovely property off the coast of Booty Island. Oh, that's rich. Everyone knows that a mysterious foreign investor has bought up all the real estate around Booty Island. Well, how about... Hmm, I didn't know that. How about... My undying and unconditional gratitude, baby. What was that? Were you coming on to me? Oh, icky. Hey, I'm married. Then quit using your picking up Winch's voice. It's creepy. <laughs> Sorry. Well, how about... Uh... Cushy government, government jobs. Hmm. That sounds interesting. Carla, what are you doing? What kind of cushy government jobs are we talking about? You know, the kind where you're paid three times the going private sector rate, no one checks your work, and it's impossible to be fired. Don't listen to him, Carla. He just wants to take us back to Monkey Island. We'd want contracts, of course. I'll see what I can do. Hmm, contracts, you say? Be seeing ya. Not if we see you first. <laughs> Too bad I can't make him say that thing. That would have been funny. Uh, sign government contract. Wow! You actually got us a sign government contract? Hmm, looks good. Very nice. Wait a minute. This is a standard government manual labor contract with no pension plan or dental coverage. Hey, you're right. We want a cushy government contract with a desk. Come back when you got something that doesn't involve back-breaking labor. Just wanted to see if that would work. <laughs> I know that the real answer is this one. Wow. You actually got us a signed contract. Well, let's see. Mm hmm. Yes. Ah, yes. Good. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, Carla, do you even know what half of this stuff means? Not a clue. But look, it says cushy in the title. Wait. All right then. All right, Threefoot. You've got yourself a crew. All right, cool. We've got a full crew. Now we just need to requisition a ship. Ma'am? Hi, I'm back. Nice night for a sail, huh? It would be if you had a boat. Um, oh, yeah. All this red tape is giving me a Oops. headache. Don't say I didn't give you anything. I need to use this. I need a ship. I told you, you don't have the authority to... Check this out. What's this? The gubernatorial seal of Melee Island. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess you are an important person. Right this way, Mrs. Marley. Let me show you to your ship. <laughs> Too 
too bad we can't just use the ship we already had. Oh no. This is the dainty lady. It's pink. You've obviously got a seaman's eye for nautical details. But, but it's pink. Now there are a couple of regulations that I'm required to explain to you. First, bring it back in the same or better condition as it is now. Second, life preservers are to be worn by all crew and passengers at all times. Finally, this vehicle is to be used for official business only, so no joyriding. Can I go now? Well, I'd love to hang out here on the docks with you all day. Actually, that's a lie. I can't stand to be near you. Bye. Oh, she's pleasant. Oh, and enjoy your voyages on the dainty lady. It's pink. Is that the ship? It doesn't look very seaworthy. At least it doesn't smell like monkeys. Are you guys ready to go? Aye, Captain. Whatever. No. Don't make me slap you, Otis. Fine. Let's get this over with. Then we're off to Lucre Island in search of high adventure and a legally binding restraining order. It'll all end in tears. Mark my words. All right, Mr. Cheese, to Lucre Island. Shouldn't we steer away from those dark, portentous clouds? Nonsense, Captain. A little rain never hurt anyone. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, mommy! Button down. Leave for the silence. Shorten the sail. Clear the scuppers. Get your hands off me. <laughs> Sorry, baby. There you go, Mr. Marley. Lucre Island. Ah, Lucre Town. The largest urban center in the Tri-Island area. Thanks, Mr. Cheese. Uh, next time you think we can get here with a little less drama? Oh, no. There's not going to be a next time, is there? Better not be. Once was enough. Okay, I'm going into town. You guys stay here and watch the ship. Oh, sure. I see how it is. The captain gets to make all the decisions. All right, I think this is actually a fantastic place to stop for our first adventure, so let's save game. Uh, yeah, why not? Okay. All right, that's, uh, we're going to call that an episode for now. Do I still have these jerky pretzels? Oh, no, I lost them. Darn. All right. Okay, well, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun and myself at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. Until we see each other next week, for more Escape from Monkey Island, take care of yourself. Bye-bye!